Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be talking about being able to authentically express your feelings. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because I'm quite a social media nut in that particular way and I do look at a lot of particular posts on Facebook, etc. And I see a lot of people, you know, going through a lot of emotional turmoil relating to, you know, a lot of situations that have happened recently or whatever it may be. And a lot of the type of advice I guess I could say that I see. It's mainly people that, you know, were within the spiritual metaphysical circles. Uh, when a person feels that they're personally frustrated and they're sharing that feeling of frustration or they're angry, they're upset, they're sad, a lot of the common response is that, hey, it's okay. We're all one, love and light, and so it is. And in a way, that's true, that's great. But really, when you're looking at a person who is very emotionally distraught, that particular type of generic spiritual response really does nothing for them. It's like a zero on the help me -o meter. It's very, very important that, you know, whether you're living a spiritual lifestyle, you know, whether you're very deeply in the metaphysics or not, that you are allowing yourself to authentically express your emotions. But the key to this is being able to hold a space for yourself being able to know that your emotions are given to you for a reason. They function as a tool. Emotions themselves are helping to purge, release out stagnant energy that has been created through a state of programming that has been with us for a very long time, going all the way back to when we were infants, children, adolescents, teenagers, young adults, adulthood, etc. And so all of this is attempting to be purged the state of emotion. What a lot of people in the New Age circles, in the metaphysical circles, in the spiritual circles often say is that just don't get mad, you know, don't get angry, don't show yourself, don't go to that level, don't go low vibe, right? And that becomes a catchphrase, that becomes a little buzz phrase, don't go low vibe, right? But understand that when you are going through these emotional states of release, this is helping you to move into a higher vibration. If you feel that you are bottlenecking that particular type of emotional state and you're allowing that energy to now come out, you're doing yourself a great service. However, if you're doing the opposite and you're keeping all that energy fermented inside, you're letting it bond inside the solar plexus, inside the abdomen, inside the belly, what you're doing is you're going to create more despair, more conflict more issues within yourself that can lead to disease, that can lead to illness, that can lead to disorder, that can lead to all these particular forms of conflict and chaos by bottling those emotions. That is not what you are meant to do. That is what's going to create more havoc within your reality. Whatever the situation is, whatever we may be seeing collectively, whatever we're seeing throughout the world, whatever we're going through personally, if it generates an authentic emotion, let it out. Hold space for yourself. I'm not saying that you need to go find 20 people and yell your head off at them and getting so angry. No, of course not. Your emotional states, when they become frantic, when there's frustration, when there's anger, when there's sadness, find a space for yourself that's comfortable. Go inside a space of love, a space that you can actually move into where you'll feel comfortable in being able to let this out. Some people may even just have a punching bag outside in the backyard, just go, ah, oh. you know, that's fine. Because that's helping you to release this particular type of energy. Some may say, well, Brad, you know, it's safe that we should be removing a lot of this energy because this emotion is very, very intense. It's a high voltage of energy, as you've talked about in previous videos. Yes, it is a very high voltage of energy. It does contain a great deal of inner frustration, inner programming that's being released. And so again, this is why we're holding space for ourselves. We're being in presence. Now, what does that mean? When I say I'm holding space for myself, what does that mean? That means that I'm giving value to the areas of the emotions that are looking to be removed. I'm giving myself enough appreciation, value, and respect so that I can make time for myself to unleash this. It's true that, you know, when people get on Facebook and they want to get angry and they get frustrated, and if you're in a really, really good mood and you see that, granted, that can be a little bit unsettling for you, and you may have that feeling, oh, don't worry about it, love and light, always warm, it's okay, right? But again, understand that that person is attempting to also 
be acknowledged, be heard. They want to be listened to. They want to see that they have an aspect of themselves that can be shared through that frustration that can be embraced, acknowledged, rather than feeling that you always have to be the quote-unquote solutions to the problem. Hey, don't worry about it. All is one, one is all, love and light, and so it is. Namaste, and that's it. Right? Doesn't help. Right? So it's very, very important that when you see a person who is emotionally frantic, you have to give yourself a choice. If you choose to really want to be of service to them, listen to them. Hold space for them. Because again, it is completely okay, whatever the situation may be, something collective, something personal, that is personally bothering you, that is causing you to be upset, causing you to be angry, unleashing all these particular types of emotions, they're meant to be unleashed. This is what's going to allow you that after all of that unleashing of emotion takes place and you've held space for it, and now that energy has transcended, you feel lighter inside. You feel like you've lost a lot of pounds just by being able to shed that emotional state. And that is how we grow. That is how we evolve. We do not come into this through the idea of spiritual identity, to feel that we're already connected, that we're already one. We hear this all the time. We hear this in experts talking on videos. We hear this on internet websites. We hear this on in articles, etc. And then it's all about, yes, you know, you just have to harmonize with yourself. You just have to align yourself and move into more of a love vibration. You cannot just go there. It doesn't work. You have to look into the idea that whatever is holding on to you, whatever emotions are still contained within yourself, if you are not allowing yourself to express, you will erupt in particular points where you feel that you've transcended it. So if you're feeling that you're in that love and light vibration, but there's something else here that triggers you, and now you're getting angry, you're getting super emotional, what's happened? Because you buried it. And this is the case of spiritual identity and not spiritual understanding. So this is where, again, I see this a lot. And hey, I've certainly been there myself, right? There's a lot of times where I get PO. There's a lot of times where I get angry. There's a lot of times where I get sad and upset. Absolutely. You know, I'm still going through this like anybody else. But it's also just very, very important that when you're really wanting to be of service to that person, you really want to help. You know this person. Maybe you don't know this person. There's just that energy, that aura about them that you want to assist. Just let them talk. Just assist them in that way and listen to them and hold space in that particular way. If you feel that's something you can't do, don't volunteer yourself. Give them a blessing and move on, right? But always feeling that a person is very, very uh, allowed to express themselves to the state of emotion. That's very important because, again, emotion is what carries all that stagnancy. It's what's carried all of those years of frustration, of anger, of belittlement, of conflict throughout all of our lives and is now caused by some type of trigger that's happened into our life. And so if we try to hold that down, say, no, 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 don't come out, don't come out, love is light, love and light, don't come out, right? Now we're basically just causing this further indigestion relating to energy that now has the opportunity to come out. And now it will not come out until the next trigger. So basically what you've done is given yourself a disservice by not being able to express that emotion. That emotion now lies fermented. It now stays within you and an illness, a disorder, whatever it may be, continues because you do not give yourself permission to feel that emotion because you are too stuck into the form of spiritual identity. And that's a trap, right? It's not about feeling that you are spiritual because that is an identity process, that it's something for you to just adopt. Your spirituality has been and always will be meant for authenticity. You are only going to be a spiritual being by being your authentic self. That's how you align the greatest spirit is when you're authentic, is when you're allowing your feelings, when you're allowing your emotions to be freely expressed. Again, not throwing them on people and feeling that you have to vent and, and rage on people because that's not helping anybody. Now all that energy is being poured onto them, right? So the whole key here is being able to know that when you have these emotional states, find a space that is comforting. Find a space where you know that you can allow this energy to be evacuated so that you can hold space in that way. 
whether that be your front room, whether it be your backyard, whether it be your bedroom, whether it be a bathroom, whatever it may be, just a space that you know you have your own way to connect with this energy, hold space, and allow it to evacuate. But what are some good ways of being able to evacuate this energy? Say what's on your mind. There doesn't have to be a plan here. This doesn't have to be a logical form. But what do I logically have to do to express this feeling? What is the emotion telling you? Let the emotion speak for itself in your own space of love as you hold presence, as you hold space. So again, this is something I just really wanted to share because I'm seeing so much of it uh, with a lot of people who are deeply distressed and need help and want to have that type of acknowledgement in regards to the situations they're going through that's creating a lot of this emotional uproar and that these emotions are just looking to come out so that you can become a whole new person. You're going through this type of emotional celestial wash. And that's exactly what these emotions do. Because as we know how intense these emotions are, they're on those high waves, they're on those high bandwidths. And then we finally let them out. Now, our vibrations like this. And as I said in previous videos, what equals a bandwidth of high vibration? It's this. It's not this. That's intensity of emotion, right? So that intensity of emotion needs to come out. Because if you try to bury it, then it's going to be like this. That's the nature of bipolarization in that sense. That's the nature of all these particular types of quote-unquote disabilities that a lot of science is saying that's how it's caused. No, it's all emotional related. It's all 100% psychological. And it's all fixable. All of it. It's all about being able to express yourself emotionally. And that is what is able to heal everything pertaining to yourself. When you feel like this, and you're in a high vibration, everything that you have represented yourself to be disorderly, dysfunctional, whatever it may be, can now be purged, can now be released. Because you've given yourself that permission to hold space for yourself and express yourself freely. It's okay to do this. But let it be in a space where you value yourself, you appreciate yourself, and you're willing to really do this service for yourself to allow that energy of emotion to be released so that you can come into a new state of tranquility and harmony. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions relating to this video or any other videos, please feel free to contact me through realitywhisper.com. I'm Brad Johnson. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Much love to you all. Take care. Namaste. And may it be well with you. Goodbye.